Hello once again. Today we will delve more into the past tense and discuss the past continuous tense. We have already learned about the simple past tense in lesson 12. So understanding the past continuous tense and when it can be used shouldn't be too difficult for you. Look at the definition given on page 12 in your pupil's book. It says, the past continuous tense is usually used to express an action still going on at a point of time in the past. What does that mean? It refers to the continuing action or state that was happening at some point in the past. It is also known as the past progressive tense. These actions in the past are continued for a short time after the action started. For example, I was jogging at the park when my mother called. Was jogging is in the past continuous and it is an action that would have taken place in the past over a certain period of time. So how do we form the past continuous tense? The past continuous is formed from the past tense of to be with the base of the main verb plus the ending ing form from the verb. For instance, in the example I gave you, the past tense or to be is was an ing ending verb is jogging. So a sentence would have the structure subject plus was or were plus continuous form of the verb ending with ing. So, if we refer once again to the example I gave earlier, it would be I, which is the subject, was jogging in the park. In your pupil's book on page 12, the example that has been given is I was waiting for a letter when the postman delivered it. As you would have noticed, was waiting is in the past continuous tense. Let's look at some examples of the past continuous tense so that you can have a better idea of this tense. The verb tense is in bold. When we got home yesterday, my grandmother was cooking dinner. He was waiting at home all morning when he received the email. I was not sleeping when you came home last night. This sentence is negated. It says was not sleeping. Notice where the not is placed in the phrase. You also don't need to have when in a sentence when using the past continuous tense. Let's look at these sentences. The sun was shining every day that month. I was praying for him every day. The children were enjoying her story. The past continuous tense can also be used to describe something that was happening continuously in the past when another action interrupted it. For example, Amma was helping me with my homework until the cricket match started. The past continuous tense can also tell us what actually took place at a precise time in the past. At six o'clock, I was eating dinner. You can also use the continuous tense to describe habitual actions in the past. That means a habit that took place in the past continuously. For example, my brother was eating constantly those days. For your exam, you might get a fill in the blanks question where you would have to use the past continuous tense to describe a situation. You might also get to write a description of an event that has taken place in the past. For this, knowing when and where to use the past continuous is important. To wrap up our lesson today, Let's do a quick fill in the blanks exercise. Let's do it together. Complete using the past simple or the past continuous of the verbs in brackets. 
Last year, my friend Ayumi and I went to Colombo. We decided to visit the Colombo Museum. But before going there, we stopped at the supermarket to buy some snacks. We saw lots of interesting things as we walked around. During lunchtime, we took out our snacks and looked for a suitable place to eat them. We found a place under a large tree outside. While we were sitting underneath the tree, we heard an unusual noise. We were opening our packets of chips when a squirrel pounced on us. It was shocking and we both froze. We certainly didn't expect that. After our brief snack, we hurried back into the museum. We were enjoying the artifacts when my mother called me on my phone and asked us to head back home. Both Ayumi and I reluctantly agreed and left the museum. As you can see, most of this description is written in the past. It is about a visit to the museum. Most of it is written in the simple past tense. In order to make the narration of this experience a little more unique, I have used the past continuous tense. The verbs that are in the past continuous have been highlighted. I hope you have a better understanding of the functions of the past continuous tense. If you like the lesson, please click on the subscribe button. See you next time for yet another engaging English language lesson. Have a fantastic day.